Hello, this is Andy from the Great Athlete Nexus. Thank you for hitting play and for joining me for, for this presentation. And this is just a, going to give you a deeper understanding of the Beactivated treatment and why it's so important for any athlete. Beactivated works on several different levels, whether that's flexibility, strength, power, but fundamentally it covers areas that are not really prioritized in pretty much all levels of sport in whatever sport. And not covering these levels is why athletes hamper their performance so much and make performing sports performance that much tougher for them. And so Beactivated fills in that missing link. It releases, unleashes the athlete's potential to perform. And so this presentation is just going to demonstrate that and hopefully you'll get a deeper understanding of why it's so important. So why should you be listening? Uh, well, if you've been around my website, you're probably interested in how what Beactivated relieves tight muscles. And what I'm going to explain is to you why that muscle is tight and how Beactivated rectifies it quickly. And there's good news and bad news for you here is because tight muscle, that tight muscle is, it indicates a much deeper problem that's holding you back, or holding back your sports performance. And the good news is that to correct this problem is easier than you think and it is quicker than you think. And once you correct this problem, not only do you relieve the tight muscle, but you do it much more. You bring your performance, overall performance, your strength, your flexibility to new levels. And if you fix this problem, then you get benefits for all of these. And this is a long list, I should agree. But there's simple techniques that you can put in place that sets up a chain reaction that brings about these benefits. And Beactivate is this simple procedure, simple philosophy that works for every athlete. And of course, if you're all these improved, then your career is likely to, to be boosted as well. So what I share today is of utmost importance. It can make a real difference to your career. So first, a little bit about me. I'm a former 400 meter runner and a 400 meter hurdler, and I used to run with Dundrum South Dublin Athletics Club back in Ireland, and I was committed. I wanted to improve as an athlete, and I trained consistently. And I was lucky to be in a group, coached by my dad, with amongst athletes who had that same commitment level, that we were driven. We enjoyed each other's company, but we trained hard. And I'm sure if you're a sprinter or 400 meter runner, maybe this middle distance runner, you'll know those 300s when you finish those 300s at the end of a training session and you're on the floor and there's lactic running through your hamstrings and glutes and standing up and sitting down, just existing is painful. And I had that feeling for 10 to 15 minutes after, after some sessions, not all sessions, but some sessions. And it was horrendous. And I'm sure it, we all trained like that. We all got those same effects. But I regularly got injured, mostly through minor hamstring strains and probably once, once a year. And what I'm going to demonstrate to you guys is to going to talk to you an area is of why we do get injured, because however the calibre, whether we're world class or just weekend warriors, we get injured. The world class athletes get injured just the same as us. Even though they've got the money, they've got the advice from the best people, they still get injured and get injured seriously. But so I'm going to be showing you today an area that we do not at at, um, attack. We do not explore. We do not prioritize in sports performance and we should. And it's a simple area where be activated treats, be activated attacks this area too. So the body is in a proper state to perform. And I've been a qualified personal trainer and strength coach since 2007. And like many committed to personal trainers, I've trained clients from a variety of backgrounds, and not just in sport. And I've spent a lot of money, thousands on courses to improve my knowledge in nutrition, body fat, strength training and program de design. And I've very much approached personal training just the same as I did as an athlete. I was looking to push myself and I was prepared to go to the most knowledgeable people in the industry to help me get the best results of my clients and also the best results of myself during my in my athletics. I'm also a qualified athletics coach um, 
in the UK and Athletics Ireland. I've coached in schools, clubs and universities. And although I can help athletes from pretty much any sport at any level, track and field is my passion. It's the sport that I've been brought up with. It's the sport that my dad used to do. He used to be a 400 meter hurdle himself and now he's a coach. And I'm passionate about the sport and changing it for the better because it needs changing. The way it's governed, the way we teach and coach athletes and well as well as the way we coach coaches has to improve. And as my present capacity, in my present capacity, I know I can help and bring this sport to new levels. And as I say, I've evolved into a Beactivated practitioner now, purely because I feel I can address certain areas that is not addressed in sport. I concentrate more on getting the athlete in the right state to perform at their best and not necessarily with the training they do, the physical training they do in the gym or on the track or on the pitch. And if there's one thing I'd like to demonstrate in this presentation, it's that fitness is only one part of your sport performance. And what I mean by that is in sport, there is an over-reliance and sometimes a complete reliance on the physical training you do on the pitch, on the field or on the track to the detriment of other things, of other areas that could really help you. And if you see it through that philosophy, through just training hard, through just that kind of training, then you're seeing your potential through blinkers. Now, of course, you must train and train consistently and train hard and on occasions. But if you look at the work I and other Beactivated practitioners do, you look at the work that Airmen Academy are doing and you look at the work that Posture Pro, Posture Pro are doing, we're redefining the word fitness and what it actually means. And what we're saying is, OK, train, do the work, do the training, but look at these other areas as well. Look how easy it is to correct posture, to, to relieve pain, to build strength, to build power. And look how we can help you make your training that much more rewarding and more valuable. And in sport, there's too much philosophy of getting the body into shape to perform instead of allowing the body to perform. And in a lot of cases, because we hamper ourselves so much that I'm going to go into in a minute, but we hamper ourselves so much with our training and our philosophy that we forget that it's all about allowing the body to perform. Now, I took the Beactivated treatment and learned it back in 2015 from Douglas Heal, the actual pioneer of Beactivated, and I've done level two as well. And this technique, when I was doing it on the course, just blew me away. It's a remarkable technique. It's a powerful activation method that fires up muscles to their full capacity. So dormant muscles, as, you'll, as I'm going to demonstrate in a minute, will switch off. And what Beactivated does is uses specific massage points rooted in kinesiology and neurolymphatics and switches on muscles from those points. So if you massage certain points on the body, this switches on certain muscles. And there's a pretest where you check the, the muscle not working and then you do the activation. And then there's a post test and the muscle starts to work. It's, it's brilliant. It's remarkable. When we were on the course, we were all blown away by it. So it's been used by, been around for a good 12 years. Douglas has been kidding to you for a good 12 years. And thousands of physios and trainers used to be activated treatment around the world. Now, what will probably interest you is the fact how quickly be activated works. And essentially, it comes down to the, the, the idea that if you do the right thing, the body will respond immediately. So flexibility can increase almost immediately in seconds. And what you see are the two pictures up there taken from a DVD I, was, I watched back in 2008. And for a strength coach and athlete, who this blew my mind. And this is Doug Heal just increasing flexibility in someone in literally seconds. The difference between the first picture and the second picture is literally five to 10 seconds of work. And what he did was optimize a muscle called the psoas to release the hamstrings. So essentially got another muscle to work better to allow the hamstrings to do their job. And what was the result was an increase in flexibility, which is demonstrated in the pictures. Now, when I saw this back in 2008, 
So I this this was unbelievable. This was I was going, how can this happen? I mean, I thought stretching was the only way to increase flexibility like this, and because and even that would take weeks, but this guy's just done it in a couple of seconds. And so this picked my interest. And for someone who's was had a thirst for knowledge back then, this allowed me and this kind of encouraged me to go and follow Doug's work a little bit more. And it took me a while, but then that's why I went and did the courses in 2015. Now, stretching works to increase flexibility. If you ask any gymnast, they'll tell you that. And I've had the benefits of stretching as well. But and it has numerous other benefits. But there is still a belief in sport today that stretching is the only way to increase flexibility. There's a tight muscle. It must be stretched. And of course, the use of self-myofascial release and foam rolling is there to assist you to get the best, get better results with stretching. But both these will only give you short term benefits because it still sees a site of the pain to be the problem. And this is not getting to the to, to the crux of the problem, really. And likewise, stretching makes the assumption that the tight muscle is the problem. If we didn't think it was a problem, we wouldn't stretch it. When the tight muscle is not the problem, it's just overworked. It's doing its own job, plus the job of other muscles that have switched up further up the body. So a tight muscle is an indicator of a more universal problem. We say it's the tight hamstrings, Normally, the problem is the hips aren't doing their functioning. The problem. hip muscles and the glutes are not doing their job. Why do back problems happen? Because they're overworked and the hip muscles are not doing their job. Now, this problem is easily fixed and be activated, rectified and fixed to this problem by switching on the dormant muscles so that they do the job and thus relieving the pressure on the tight muscles. And from that point, stretching will work. You can use both of these together. Stretching will work better when you relieve the tight muscle first. You take the workload off the tight muscle. So be activated teaches the body to function the way it's supposed to. And it's a great quote from Doug Hill, the pioneer of be activated. It says it's about enabling athletes to achieve what they are truly capable of. Most people, unless they've been activated, are not even scratching the surface of their potential, which is some statement. And it should make you think, what am I truly capable of? Because in sport, in the present climate, we do put limits on our capabilities, our own capabilities. We put blinkers on our potential. Because if we see our training or our performance through just the physical training we do, then we're missing something. And missing the, the aspect of actually putting our body in the right state to perform. And there's clues out there as to what we're doing wrong or how we could improve. We just need to follow those clues. And I'm going to give you one of those clues, major clues, in the next slide. But the other aspect is how, how can I make my path to what I want to achieve more efficient? Because as athletes, we're terrible at being efficient. We will pick the hardest route because we think that's the best route. And we're so driven to achieve what we want to achieve that we don't often take a step back so we can see the wood for the trees. So let's see how we can make life easy for ourselves. How, let's see how we can make life easier for athletes. Now we come to the focus of the presentation and what forms the general philosophy of be activated. And earlier you would have heard me talk about the deeper problem. And if you correct it, you can boost nearly all areas of your sports performance. And I also talked about the over-reliance on the physical training we do on the track, in the gym, on, on the pitch, to the detriment of everything else. And it's especially to the detriment of this stress. Now, with the general consensus is that link is, stress is linked to the general population and probably a much older demographic. But and there's also probably a, a, a consensus that athletes are far too fit young and healthy for stress to be make any impact on them but we all live in the same world and we're exposed to the same pressures and, and a lot of the problems we experience in sport we can link back to how we live our lives in between our training sessions and essentially outside our sport and we do not give this stress enough priority 
Now, although financial and family stress has been around for donkey's years, for thousands of years, the fact that we're living in an ever-changing world magnifies the pressures on these areas. And the world we live in, it's evolving, it's speeding up. Technology is changing the world for some, in some ways better, but also the pressures we have are magnified. And the, so, the, the social media time spent on the computer generally and the internet and the general pressure for us to respond to life in a quicker way. We're exposed to everybody's opinions on social media and the opportunity to get frustrated and angry at everyone's opinions. We cannot handle all this. We haven't been taught how to handle all this. The education system has not evolved with the technology, has not speeded up. It's still archaic. The education system t still teaches us how to get a job, not how to deal with life. And if you add the general training philosophy on top of all that, the train hard, the push yourself, to put the hours in, can't miss a single training session. And some of this pressure might come from the coaches, might. And then if you're a high class athlete, the sponsors and the requirements on that level, but also the stress and the pressure that the athlete puts on himself or herself, the need to achieve, the need to do the training. And the, the levels of stress are more constant now. They're, more constant, they're constant and elevated. And we don't know how it feels to be de-stressed when we're feeling great. And more importantly, do we have the training right now to handle all this stress? Probably not. Um, what impact does this have on the athlete? Well, it leads to subpar performance. And eventually it leads to injury. And I'm going to show you a test in a minute that's going to demonstrate how stress weakens the body. And for those of you who are, who've got tight muscles, this is highly likely the next step for that tight muscle is injury unless you intervene and change things and get the other muscles in your hips activated because stress switches off muscles which has it causes other muscles to take over and do twice the work and that's when they tighten it's relaxation where we need to base up performance this is where true performance happens when things flow and this happened to me in my career whenever i ran quickly Whenever I performed well on the football pitch, when I was younger, things just flowed because I was in a, a relaxed state. Accidentally, I might add. The parasympathetic state is where we need to base our performance. We as athletes and coaches, for that matter, are not in this state. We're too busy training hard. We're still too busy pushing ourselves. And we forget we, we eulogise about those athletes who have drive and motivation. We forget completely where does that drive and motivation come from? Where does that state come from? Confidence and physical strength, which is what I'm going to demonstrate to you, how stress makes you weak. I'm going to demonstrate that to you in a minute. But physical strength, excitement comes from this state. And be activated is your, one of the few methods that actually does this. It's the base that I start off or every activation method is that the, relax, the parasympathetic state is activating the diaphragm, getting the breathing right. And if you get the breathing right, you get the athlete in the right state. And the, what happens when that happens is unbelievable. The muscles just switch on and react. An athlete is stronger. Now, you're probably thinking, yes, Andy, yeah, you're telling me all this about stress, weakening the body, causing injuries, causing tight muscles. It's a bit far fetched, really, isn't it? So um, here's a little test for you that you can try out so you can see for yourself how much stress plays on the body. And if you you'll need an accomplice for this as well. And if you think first about an unhappy memory that you had, and maybe a stressful thing that happened to you in your life. Something that just generally makes you unhappy and you hold out your arm straight and you get your partner to press down on it. And you record what happens and then. You, you think of a happy memory or something that inspires you, and this could be a family experience or something that made you laugh, any kind of positive experience. That made you happy and then you put out your arm again and you get your partner to press down on it again. 
So what did you find? Well, I'll bet when you thought of the negative thought and your partner pressed down your arm, you could do it with ease. Your arm just gave way. Whereas when you thought of the positive thought, the, the happy experience, something that inspired you, then your partner tried to press it down, but it was stronger or it didn't move. And when I do this in my screening sessions with people, it's remarkable. The, the difference is remarkable. Depending on the vivid, how vivid the memory is, somebody can arm can just give way completely or can and it can hold strong and difference is remarkable just by a thought and if you think about it if this didn't exist then sports psychology wouldn't exist because when you think about it once when you if you've got two athletes that are completely the same talent done completely the same uh, same training they're equal on ability and if one has a negative thought about the race that's coming up, they're both on the start line, they've one has a negative thought about the race that's coming up and that is worried, is fearful and thinks I'm not going to do well here. And the other one athlete is positive. He's going to say, I'm going to nail this race. I'm going to win it. Which one is likely to win? All things being equal, which athlete is likely to win? And this person with the positive thought. Because the guy with negative thought, the negative thought is stressful, he's going to be weaker. So stress weakens the body. And here's something else to think about. The fastest races I ever ran, my PBs, were always the easiest races of my life. Um, after finishing, thoughts would run through my mind of saying, that was so easy, or that must have been slow, that can't have been anywhere close to my PB. But it was. And I'm sure it was the same for you as well, if you, when you ran as an athlete. I'd hear pundits on TV, specifically in the sprints, complimenting athletes when they've run well on their relaxation, the looseness in the jaw. And, but the philosophy in training nowadays seems to be that you train balls out every training session, you train hard, so you develop this relaxation during the race, which does makes no sense. You cannot train balls out and train hard and leave yourself on the floor and expect yourself to be relaxed at the most pressurized situation in your career when you really need and want to perform it doesn't set the right base relaxation is a habit you practice consistently it is not a byproduct of hard work so i've come back to this slide again because i hope now it's clearer how fitness, your fitness, the physical training you do is only one part of your sports performance. And can you see how you approach your training and essentially how you approach life makes a massive difference to the training that you do? Setting yourself the right base, which is relaxation, which should pay huge dividends later on. And during the course of this presentation, we've gone from relieving tight muscles to stress and the mind and how that affects performance. And that's a big jump. But think about this. In a nutshell, tight muscles indicate muscles switching off in other areas of the body. And why do muscles switch off? Because of the way we lead our life, because of the stress. And the present social environment. And that's essentially what the activate does. It helps you feel good. And that is a massive thing. And I use simple processes, as I say, like breathing. And certain activations around the hips, putting the body in its natural state to perform well. And if you feel good, you'll perform. If you feel good, you'll be strong. If you feel good, you'll get the most out of your training. Nowadays, we cannot just train, eat and sleep to perform at our best anymore. It should be like that. We should be able to do that, but we can't. We don't have the education to deal with the stress, the ever evolving world, the influx and pressure that we feel and perform optimally. We don't have the tools. And this is where Be Activated fills in that missing link. Your body has to be in the right state to benefit from your training to benefit from the stretching, to 
benefit from your running, to benefit from learning a new skill. It's very much like if you need to sort a problem out and you have a problem and you don't know how, a stressed mind won't help you sort out that problem. You need to relax, put yourself in the right state. And that is going to raise your chances of sorting out the problem. It's going to give you options for you to take that's going to sort out the problem. Well, the body works in the same way when you go into a relaxed state. It performs for you. It gives you the answer. It, it, it actually helps you to perform it in the way you're supposed to. So be activated, puts your body in the right state to train and benefit from your training and ultimately makes your athletics performance soar. So what does be activated involve? Well, essentially it's based in the physio room on the massage table. I don't do, this is not an exercise session. This is not somewhere where you're going to learn to get stronger or through exercise. This is using specific muscle tests and using certain trigger points. But first what I do is get you on the massage table and I defer what's happening with your body where the muscles are switched on and where they're not. So, and paint a picture of how your body and its body state at the moment. And then I use certain activations. I use a pre-test of each muscle. So I test the muscle before I activate the muscle and then I activate the muscle through applying pressure to specific trigger points and then do the post muscle. And it, this shows you evidence of how quickly the activations work. You the pre-test, Normally the muscle doesn't work. After the, the, the after doing the activation, the post muscle, the difference is remarkable. And it's again, it, we've identified the problem with the stress. It's all about setting the relaxed base for you. And what I do is use specific techniques such as getting your breathing right, activating the diaphragm to improve and get you into the relaxed state, low stress state, so you can perform from. And the breathing is linked to the activation of your hips. So if you want your hips to be activated, your hips to be flexible, then your breathing has to be top notch. And most people don't breathe properly. So we spend a lot of time getting your breathing right. Then I activate on top of that, once setting the right state, the right base, I activate the psoas, glutes, hamstrings, adductors, core, and more. And I do this quickly. The activations overall take about 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds. And then I give you self activations. Repeated sessions will be needed. And I give you self activations to do at home while in between the sessions. So you're keeping your body in the right state. So you're probably asking yourself, is be activated for you? Or a more accurate question is, do I really need it? And so here's a short checklist of whether it uh, be activated applies to you. Do you have lack of flexibility in areas? Do you have tight muscles somewhere, really tight muscles that however much stretching you do doesn't, don't seem to release. So you might have tight muscles somewhere, be ultimately very flexible in one area, but tight muscles somewhere, somewhere else. If you do, then be activated is, is for you because we can actually get the muscles, as we said, the muscles firing in other parts of the body to release the tension on the overworked tight muscles. The other question is, are you regularly injured? Now, this has to, I must say, I don't diagnose, I cannot diagnose an injury. Um, if you have an injury and you get injured, you need to go to a physio. A physio might give you exercises to activate certain muscles, to strengthen the core or whatever. That is where I can be very, very helpful. I can activate muscles immediately to quicken up the recovery process and also prevent it from happening. On occasions through my treatment, through the Beactivated Method, I have relieved pain, such as back pain, hip pain, and, and Achilles pain as well. But I cannot promise you in this, promise you that I can do that. Go to a physio, and then afterwards I can help you out. Do you feel stress is preventing you from achieving your goals? So, and then a more accurate question is, do you feel good? And this is a very, very big question. Stress, as we've realized through this presentation, can play a large part in your sport performance and maybe more. So if you feel that certain parts of your life are weighing down on your, your performance or on your training, or you feel you're just interested in feeling a lot better, then Be Activated can help you. And it's all about feeling good to perform well. 
And essentially the last one is, do you simply want to be better, stronger, more flexible? Do you want to be just leave no stone unturned in pursuit of excellence? Do you want to explore new avenues just to get better? Because every athlete should experience be activated. Every athlete would benefit from be activated. And if be activated is for you, then I'd love to help you. And there's plenty of ways in which I can do that. The first way is obviously email me at andy at the great athlete nexus dot com and just ask me any questions that you would like. Or you can go to my contact page on my website, www.thegreatathletenexus.com. And the next stage, if you so wish, you can give me your phone number and I can call you at a specific time and we can have a chat and talk about Be Activated in more depth. And you can talk about how, where in flexibility terms you, you've been held back or energy wise or any kind of strength wise. And I'm sure even on the chat on the phone, I can give you give you directions that you can apply on your own. So this is a no lose situation here to chat on the phone there. It's totally free of charge and you can only gain information. And the next stage, if you so wish, is to meet one to one and we can have a one hour screening session and I can test you out and see and you, we can discuss where you are holding yourself back, what areas you need to improve upon, what muscles are switched off and what muscles overworked and doing all the work of the others and then during that screening session is at the end we talk about monthly and three monthly program which have going because be activated it's likely that you'll need repeated sessions to lock in the activations to change the habits of your of your body and this involves certain handbooks and processes that I do behind the scenes. It involves self activations that you can do on your own and a whole bunch of other stuff that will help you sustain the right state so you can perform at your best during training and competition. This be activated. This system is the total investment in yourself. It's the ultimate investment in yourself. It's an area where you see your performance from a different level, from a different point of view. And this point of view really changes things for you as well and makes your route to your achieving your goals a whole lot easier. And that's it for me. I've talked for long enough, but it just leaves me to say thanks for watching and listening. And I look forward to hearing from you. <laughs>